हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू यूट्यूब चैनल विद्या फॉर सक्सेस डियर स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस वीडियो लेट अस स्टडी द कंटिन्यूड पार्ट ऑफ बायोनॉमियल डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन लेट मी टेक यू बैक टू द डेफिनेशन ऑफ बायोनॉमियल डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन सो व्हाट इज बायोनॉमियल डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन इफ अ रैंडम वेरिएबल दट टू इफ अ डिस्क्रीट रैंडम वेरिएबल एक्स इफ इट इज हैविंग द प्रॉबर्टी मास फंक्शन probability p of x is equal to n c x p power x q power n minus x where x can take the value 0 1 2 3 dash dash n and probability of success it lies between 0 and 1 and failure q is equal to 1 minus p then the variate x is referred as binomial variate and the distribution of such a variate is referred as binomial distribution so already we were knowing this concept so next uh, uh, in statistical terms binomial distribution is represented in a different fashion okay so how it will be represented so it will be represented in this particular fashion a binomial distribution with the parameters how many parameters are there for binomial distribution only two parameters they are n and p n indicates number of trials of a binomial variate and p indicates the probability of success the probability of success remains same for all the trials okay so here uh, with parameters n and p the binomial distribution can be simply it can be represented as b that is b indicates a binomial x where x is random variable having parameters n and p or it can also be written as binomial b of n comma p just we will be representing two parameters okay so this is how you are going to statistically represent a binomial distribution now let us study some examples to better understand binomial variate okay so the first example is number of heads obtained in tosses of a coin so how many tosses you are making here four tosses of a coin so in a, when you toss a first coin you might get a head if you get a head that is a success what is the probability of success here 1 by half 1 by 2 1 by 2 okay so the probability of success is 0.5 that is 1 by 2 uh again if you once again conduct the same uh, trial uh, experiment again you will be going to toss a coin the probability of success again it remains the same that is half so again the th third time when you toss a coin again the probability of success remains the same half the fourth time also it remains the same so here the example in this example number of heads obtained in four tosses so we know what is the n so we know one parameter okay for this particular example we we need to ascertain this example fits to which particular distribution there are different types of distribution so we need to first of all come to a conclusion it fits to which distribution so here we know the num uh, n value so we'll be making four tosses so in each toss the probability of success remains the same so the p is half and it remains same so hagage this particular example it fits to binomial variate okay next up second one number of male children in a family of two children so what is the family of two children here they have given family number we need to find out what is the number of male children what is the chance of a male baby okay male children so we need to find that so when a child is born there is an equal chance of it being a male as well as being a female okay it can be a male baby or it can be a female baby so what is the chance what is the chance of being a male baby it is 1 by 2 that is half that is 0.5 okay so we are looking for number of male children in a family of two children so we are visiting a family having only two children okay so we are visiting families having two children so in that what we are looking for male children number of male children there can, for example when we visit a nearby family having two children there may be a male children there may not be a male children if there are male children there may be one there may be two okay so they, we are visiting such a family so number of male children in a family of two children here two indicates n and here the probability that is half it remains same for all the trials all the visiting families okay there will be no change next number of bombs hitting a target among three bombs which are aimed at it so how many bombs we are hitting uh, aiming at a target we are totally at, uh, aiming three bombs so what is the chance of a bomb hitting a target it might hit a target or else it might miss a target so the chance is 1 by 2 
okay so how many bombs we are hitting how many times we are the same experiment is repeated three times so the n value here is three and what is the probability that is half it remains same for all the aims okay next number of defective articles in a random sample of six articles drawn from a manufactured lot okay so here the uh, pro problem example is number of defective articles so you will be having a random sample how many articles are there in this random sample totally there are six articles so n value is six okay you will be drawing six articles from a manufactured lot so out of this six random sample uh, uh, sample size six uh, you will be picking each uh, article to totally there are six articles you'll be going with first article the first article may be defective or it may be non defective okay so there is equal chance so what is the probability of success being you are uh, you want to detect whether it is defective or not so number of defective articles the that that is a probability that is half so n value is six fine so again it fits to binomial variate next one is number of seeds germinating among 10 seeds which were sown so you will be sowing how many seeds 10 seeds so n value is 10 there are there is equal probability whether it can be success or it can be a failure each seed so for each seed there is an equal chance of success so that is half so again once again this uh, example also fits for binomial variate so what is a binomial variate a variate having equal chance of sub, uh, uh, all the trials sorry all the whenever you are repeating the same trials all the trials will be having equal chance of success and you will be conducting n trials so then all these examples they come under binomial variate now let us go through the features of binomial distribution so the first feature is here binomial variate or binomial distribution will be having how many parameters two parameters but for Bernoulli distribution, we will be having only one parameter that is P. But for here, binomial distribution, we will be having two parameters. They are N and P. What is N? N indicates the number of times a particular trial is repeated N. And P indicates the probability of success. And here, the probability of success must remain same for all the trials. Okay, that is the first feature. And second feature is in the pro probability mass function x will the random x variable x will consider different values what all values they will consider they can consider values from 0 1 2 up till n not more than n okay this is the range of the binomial distribution next the third one is for a binomial distribution the probability mass function is probability of x is equal to n c x p power x q power n minus x where x can take value as we said it can take value either 0, 1, 2, 3 up till n, not more than that. And what is the p value, the probability of success? It lies between 0 and 1. And what about the q value? q is equal to 1 minus p. Okay. Next, fourth one. For a binomial distribution, mean is equal to np, variance is equal to npq, and standard deviation is equivalent to square root of npq this you need to remember you need to memorize it okay so for Bernoulli distribution mean is p variance is pq and standard deviation is square root of pq but here for binomial distribution mean is np n is number of trials p is probability of success so n into p variance is npq standard deviation is square root of npq okay next one is what is the relationship between uh, mean and variance that we are going to discuss in the fifth feature always the mean value will be greater than variance for a binomial distribution okay so they will be asking you uh, after giving the mean and variance value they will let us know uh, they are all be asking the question uh, when it comes to which particular distribution so if mean value is greater than variance then we can say it is a binomial distribution okay so here always np value mean is np variance is npq np value will always be greater than npq why because the reason is both p and q they are within the same range they are in the range is 0 to 1 0 to 1 you can notice here next sixth feature the mean and more are mode are equal if np is an integer what is np np is nothing but mean if mean is an integer if it is a whole number then the mean value and mode value will always remain same they will be equal okay this you need to keep it in mind next seventh one 
the mode of a binomial distribution is equal to the value of x which has the largest probability so on this particular feature they can ask you one question okay so they will be giving us a probability distribution table x and p of x values they will be giving us and they will be asked to find which is the mode identify the mode they will ask us so what is mode in the binomial distribution nothing but that in a binomial distribution mode is equal to the value of x for which particular random variable x which is having the highest probability then that x value will be considered as mode okay so the mode of the binomial distribution is equal to value of x which has the largest probability so in the binomial in the uh, binomial distribution will be given us give will be given x value and probability of x value for example x 0 1 2 3 4 tanka idu anta ankona similarly probability values kottirtare yado one random variable x ige probability jaasti irutade so that x value will be referred as mode okay is it clear next eighth one if p is equal to q is equal to half please notice here p value probability of success should be equal to probability of failure equal to one third half one day so then in agate binomial distribution will be symmetrical so what is symmetrical the distribution when divided it will be divided into two equal halves so that is symmetrical okay when p is equal to q it means it we get the answer half one day so then the binomial distribution is symmetrical so atwa usually using beta 1 the moment skewness like so beta 1 is equal to 0 similarly if probability p value if it is less than half and q greater than half then binomial distribution is positively skewed okay so when the binomial distribution will be positively skewed positively skewed and theta reno you will be considering y axis x axis so positively skewed and theta reno the tail of the distribution will move towards x axis x axis will move to r to the avagi nagata positively skewed and the birth of it and avagi berbeck and rain rebecco the p value should be less than half and q value should be greater than half atava beta 1 should be greater than 0 either then the distribution is positively skewed and the reform at the way similarly another one is negatively skewed if contrary no if probability of success p greater than half or q less than half idre then binomial distribution is negatively skew one third negatively skew one third the head will move towards uh, sorry the tail will move towards uh, negative negative axis that is y axis kade move aagta irta thalare y axis x axis itra idre tail ikade inda move aagi gagi il x il ir hinge irta okay tail will be moving towards uh, x, uh, y axis kade move aagta irta negative x kade so that is how uh, these are the features okay next followed by the two more important features the binomial distribution tends to poisson distribution okay already we have discussed this uh, sort of feature in uh, uh, bernoulli as well bernoulli distribution will tend towards binomial the number of uh, repetitions jasi martive n repetitions though in all repetitions there is equal chance of probability idre avaga enagutha bernoulli will tend to binomial anta helidvi but now even binomial distribution they can tend towards poisson distribution another distribution okay so yavaga anta helidre when the n value number of trials in the you just finite it if the number of trials become infinite too many trials too many trials and it is moving towards infinity amal probability of success in it will be very very small it is moving towards zero and np will be it will be a uh, constant lambda value in our bandra a fixed value bandra then this particular distribution we can say binomial distribution is moving towards poison and the refer mod bodo okay so avaga poison and distribution binomial distribution move agatha tend agatha and theta when the n value is moving towards infinity that means number of trials jasi madhu tumma madhu amale probability of success Tumba kammi irathe 0.0 something irathe very small num value and np the n into p that is uh, uh, n into p madadaga we will be getting a constant fixed value then that distribution we can say is tending towards poisson distribution similarly the 10th 12th one binomial distribution tends to normal distribution another distribution normal yavaga binomial distribution normal distribution kade move agutte anthe helidre when n again it needs to go towards infinity nothing but number of trials tumba matter back infinity tumba s tumba gotirala s ide antane gotirala namage trials okay amele p and q are almost equal 
probability of success and probability of failure ಎರಡು almost equal ಇದ್ರೆ then we can say that normal distribution is moving towards normal distribution okay so with these features i am closing this video thank you